Okay, with uh, a cancer diagnosis, uh, there's a lot of interaction that's needed with the different specialties. Uh, the radiologists, because they'll need scans, or if it's breast cancer, mammograms, MRI scans, and we need to interact well with the pathologist, and then afterwards with the other specialties involved. So, to me, communication with the other physicians is vital in this setting. We're a part of the multi-specialty uh, program at Presbyterian Hospital. I, I head up the uh, breast and the gastrointestinal uh, multi-specialty clinics that we have every, every week. So I think it's, uh, it, it's vital for patients to have that interaction and also to understand why the, all the specialties are involved. And all the specialties have to talk to each other, which is not natural for physicians. Another name for it is a second opinion clinic. Okay. And it gives a second opinion to patients once they're diagnosed with a cancer. It could be a recurrent cancer. Again, we have them uh, it, one day a week from melanoma and gastrointestinal cancers and sarcomas. And the patients actually come to the hospital and they meet with a different specialist. And we help the patient to understand what their best option is as an opinion. We're not trying to grab the patient, become their patients, but it's really a it's free of charge. The hospitals don't charge the patients for this, so it's really a community service. Oh, that's and great. Uh, with the breast cancer, it's every Tuesday. Five patients every week are able to come, and they meet themselves with a medical oncologist, a radiation oncologist, and a surgeon. Part of the clinic is also a radiologist who reads the x-rays, and a pathologist who looks at the actual tissue to make sure what is thought is actually true, that everybody agrees that we have the right diagnosis, and then everybody sits around the table and figures out a care plan for the patients. And then the last thing you do is move into the room and talk to the patient and the family about what the recommendation is and why. So patients come away from that with a very clear understanding of what's going on.